Welcome to The Robin Graham Show, the podcast for purpose-driven women who want to achieve sustainable success without having to be on social media. Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of The Robin Graham Show. Many people recognize the value of hiring a coach, life coach, leadership coach, business coach, health and wellness coach, you name it. They see the value. They understand that there's an ROI, a return on their investment when they invest in a coach or a mentor. But other people, however, let fear prevent them from working with a coach who could potentially help them achieve tremendous outcomes or make tremendous changes and experience incredible transformation. I recently asked a potential client during a discovery call, what would make her say yes, an affirmative yes, that she wanted to hire a coach? And her response was that she would say yes if she knew, if she was guaranteed a return on her investment. So I thought to myself, well, if that's her thought process, a lot of other people probably have the same thought and are questioning whether or not there is an ROI with a coach. Now, of course, your ROI with a coach is going to be unique depending on how much work you put into it and what type of coaching you're getting. But the important thing to consider is that there are multiple ways that you get an ROI when you work with a coach. It's not only financial, but of course, there can be big financial rewards as well. Let's use the example of paying $5,000 for a coaching program. If your clients pay you $2,500 and you get two new clients, you have received a solid ROI on your investment. You're even, you broke even, you spent $5,000 and because of the transformation that you experienced or the information you gained or the lessons you learned from this coach, you have essentially now paid for the coach just by getting those two clients. However, the ROI doesn't stop there. You will not only attract new clients by working with the coach. When working with a coach to identify problem areas in your business, it could be mindset, it could be strategy or lack thereof, it could be offers, pricing, expenses that you're paying, maybe it's tools that you're paying for or systems that you're not even using, maybe it's you're paying for ads and you haven't looked at the bottom line, like are you paying more for the ads than you're actually bringing in? after the expenses of converting those leads to paying clients or looking at the conversion rate of those leads, are they actually converting to enough dollars in your business to justify those paid ads? The best part is that you have someone with, when you have a coach, to not only help you recognize these things, but help you take intentional action and hold you accountable for implementing any of the recommendations that have been made or that you've come up with together. Now, the ROI of coaching is not one time only. So you don't only look at the ROI or the number of clients or the amount of money you make during the container or the time that you're working with a coach or mentor. As you implement new strategies, adopt a better mindset, and make changes within your business and or your life, you create a lifetime of potential. You will not only attract one or two new clients, but many more over the years to come. For example, if you work with a coach and implement strategic changes, the suggest, suggested strategies, and you get 100 new clients, you've now earned $250,000. You have an ROI of 50 times greater than your investment. You have significantly earned your investment back. 
In addition, if you improve your mindset and simplify your business model, you will save time, energy, and more money and have a better quality of life. When you think about the quality of your life and the number of hours that you have free to vacation, to travel, or to just have family dinners in the evening to create memories, that time is invaluable. So think about all of those factors. It's not just the dollar signs associated with paying and getting in return new clients, but the energy, the quality of life, and the time. And really, time equates to money, so it kind of falls back into that. But most importantly, it's the quality of the life that you're living and the ability to make transformation or get results or build the foundation of your business faster so that you have sustainable success instead of backpedaling throughout time. So the art why of coaching depends on you. You have to consider your business model. If you only sell low ticket products, a coach will help you revise your offers potentially and create higher earning potential. What is your capacity to take on a hundred new clients like in the example I mentioned before? Maybe it seems impossible to do in one year, but is it possible to do over a few years? Or can you look at it like this? You are charging $2,500, but now you're going to charge $5,000. So you can take on half of the number of clients in the same amount of time. And you're still going to 50 times your investment. Maybe you create a group program and you launch it and you only have 25 people enroll four times a year, but now you have $5,000 per client. And again, your ROI is 50 times that original investment, $5,000. So now to bring in some other statistics, because you know me, I love data. I love knowing the numbers and I love having other experts share information so that it's not just me saying it, but there is real validity in this in these thoughts of the ROI on coaching. So Louisa Zhao wrote an article in coaching it's coaching statistics, the ROI of, of coaching in 2024. So these are, these are relevant numbers. These are current. So she wrote an article and here are a few of these statistics. 68% of individuals who hired coaches were able to make back their investment. Those who make financial gain on their coaching can, on average, expect 3.44 times the amount spent. That's huge. In addition, 86% of companies that could calculate their return on investment said that they at least made back their initial investment. That's 86% of people made back their original investment. And 19% indicated an ROI of 50 times their investment, similar to that example that I gave earlier. 28% of people saw an ROI of 10 to 49 times their investment, and the median ROI on the investment was seven times. That's significant. According to a study, coaching has 221% ROI. That was in the International Society for Performance Improvement. So again, if you're thinking about it, it goes beyond those financial numbers because if your performance increases, you have more confidence, you have more clarity, then everything in your life improves. And the more everything in your life improves, especially your mindset, your attitude, your confidence, the more success you're going to achieve long-term, more notoriety, more authority. So many things can improve. So additional factors to evaluate when determining the ROI of coaching is, or are, I should say. And if you're wondering if coaching is effective outside of the financial ROI, I encourage you to go to the show notes and read the articles that I linked by Louisa Zhao. 
She has another one or in the same article, actually, she stated that 80% of coaches report increased self-confidence. 70% of coaches improve work performance, relationships, and communication. Imagine the peace of mind if your relationships improved, be it with your your spouse, your partner, your kids, or coworkers, yourself. It could be amazing. One in six entrepreneurs turn to coaching to improve their performance. That was in Forbes. A third of successful entrepreneurs have turned to a mentor or support group. 33% of founders, that's what you are if you're a business owner, 33% of founders mentored by successful entrepreneurs become top performers. 92% of small business owners agree that mentors directly impact their growth and the chances for their businesses to survive. 88% of business owners with a mentor say having one is invaluable. 70% of entrepreneurs who receive mentoring or coaching survive five years or longer. And we know the statistics for business failure within the first five years is over 50%. So if they, if 70% of entrepreneurs who receive coaching, mentoring, the help they need, They're surviving five years or longer. That's huge. That changes the curve of success. So according to an article on LendingTree, and again, this is linked in the show notes so you can see for yourself, approximately 23% or one in four businesses in the U.S. fail the first year. And like I said, Five-year and 10-year failure rates are 48% and 65% respectively. Another article published in KEEP, that's K-E-A-P, and it's linked in the show notes, reported that 70% of businesses fail because owners don't recognize or accept their weaknesses and don't seek help from others. This statistic reminds us that mindset and seeking help from And hiring a coach, consultant, a mentor can be a game changer, especially if you want to achieve sustainable success. We're not talking about success for tomorrow, but we're talking about creating sustainable success and a lifetime of limitless opportunity. Coaches, this is an excellent piece of information for you to share in your marketing. The article by Louise Zhao breaks down the ROI per coaching segment or niche. So sales coaches, life coaches, business coaches, health coaches, you name it. So it's worth reading and it's worth incorporating these statistics in your marketing materials. And feel free to link back to this episode or this blog post as a reference for your clients. So if you have been avoiding hiring a coach, or if you've been on discovery calls where people are avoiding hiring a coach because they're afraid of the investment, they're afraid they can't afford it, they're intimidated and not confident that they'll have an ROI, maybe it's time to ask if you can afford not to or if they can afford not to. And here's the thing. Most coaches nowadays offer payment plans to make it affordable for you. So there's really no excuse to not explore coaching as an option to improve your business or your life in general, because there are ways to do it. And the ROI is there. Now, it's important, and I'm going to emphasize this, that you have the right person that you're aligned from a values perspective. And it's also important that you are going to take the action according to what they recommend, because they will be able to see what you're capable of. And they'll be able to see where there's a break, right? Where there is a need for additional help. So as long as you're willing to be vulnerable and accept the help and take the action that's recommended, you're going to have an ROI. All right, to wrap this up, there is evidence that hiring a coach will yield an ROI and benefit your overall business success. And I'm going to add there your life success as well. 
If you are tired of feeling overwhelmed and frustrated by the guesswork of building a business, not knowing which steps to take and in what order to achieve sustainable success, consider hiring a coach. The same thing, if you're struggling with health issues, hire a health coach, hire a nutritionist or a dietitian, but someone that can help you. If you are struggling with sales and you feel like you've got this incredible business, but your sales are just falling flat time over time, hire a sales coach. There are so many opportunities out there for you to be able to have the help you need without intimidation and to be able to step into seeing an ROI on those investments. When you are ready to eliminate the guesswork to build a solid foundation for sustainable business success without social media, schedule a call with me. The link is in the show notes. All right, friends, thanks for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. And I do hope that you'll go over, check out the show notes, read the full article. There were additional statistics in there that I did not mention, but they're pretty profound. And I really think you can use them in your marketing as well. If you have questions, always feel free to reach out to me. And if you enjoyed this information, share it with your colleagues, share it with other coaches, service providers who may be starting a business and they're wondering, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to do this? I don't even know where to begin. Help them eliminate the guesswork. Give them the solid information to assure them that if they hire the help that they need, they're going to have an ROI. And share it with your audience as well, because it will help you convert your clients as well. All right, until next time, have a great week. And that's a wrap, friends. A heartfelt thank you for being here. I know there are many other ways that you could spend your time. So I truly appreciate you joining me and be sure and visit the website, therobingraham.com forward slash resources for a plethora of resources to help you grow your business for long-term success.